how do you write copy uh, in a client in your client's voice in a way that's actually going to resonate with their audience and also importantly get response. So this question comes in from a reader and I want to read his entire email here. He said, um, Hola Roy, how are you? My name is Julian and I'm new in the copywriting world. I've been following your work, including reading your books, email newsletter, and watching your videos uh, for a while now. And I have to say I'm impressed with your style of writing copy, especially how you pull people to buy from you without sounding like a salesman. I feel like I know you in person despite that we never met yet. A few days ago, I read your email on how you wrote a sales letter for Brian Kurtz and the message you received from Gary Bensavinga. That's why I want to say thank you for the knowledge you share with the world. And I want to ask you about how or what is your approach when you write copy for someone else, a person, not a company? How can I write copy that sounds like the person I'm writing on their behalf? I did the Gary Halbert 30 Days Copywriting Challenge, and I've read 30 plus classic direct response books, but I'm still struggling in how to change my style and tone of voice whenever I write for someone else. Your loyal fan, Julian. Awesome, thanks, Julian. Um, so, uh, actually, this it's it's really simple, um, and I'll get to the uh, my revelation, I guess, in a moment. But I want to talk about that copy that I wrote for Brian Kurtz because he told a story on stage that right after he launched the copy, right after he put it out into the market, his good friend and um, a list copywriter. Paris Lampropoulos, who Brian has been in a mastermind with Paris for a while. Brian actually has hired Paris to write copy for him. Like uh, Paris and Brian go back a long time. So Paris calls up and he says, uh, Brian, I, I want to talk to you about the, the the sales letter for Titans. It was Titans, a direct response. And uh, Brian thinks, uh-oh, because when Paris calls to talk about copy, usually he's going to give you his opinion or his expertise on the copy, and it's um, he doesn't mince words. So it's uh, he'll often tear it apart. And and so Brian says, uh, okay, we can talk. Is something wrong? And, and Paris says, no, actually, nothing's wrong. Um, but I didn't know you could write so well. <laughs> and uh, Brian laughs and breathes a deep sigh of relief. Um, and... What was shown in that moment was how effectively I had captured Brian's voice in the copy while um, also doing the job of selling and doing it in a, a, at a level that was better than what Brian Kurtz was, was known for. I mean, Brian wrote like an eight-page sales letter that never saw the light of day, and I turned it into this like 45, 50-page letter for Titans of Direct Response, which ended up getting all the attention in the industry. Well, how did I do that? Um, one word. That word is story. Uh, I All that I really did for that sales letter was I talked to Brian a bunch and I pulled story out of him. I pulled stories and stories and stories. So I'm asking him like, why? What was the, what was the reason for Titans? Like, how did it come together? And I'm just listening and I'm taking notes. And when you're doing this, you can record it. You can get it transcribed. I use otter.ai for transcriptions a lot. Uh, the, the free tier is enough for a lot of people or the paid tier is an incredible deal. So you you capture story in whatever way you can, even better if it's actually the client telling their own story. And then you take that story and you rework it, you edit it, you tweak it, you you modify it without fundamentally changing it and while still using the same types of words that they use. And if you do it right, what's going to happen is most people aren't, even their friends aren't going to be able to tell the difference between the the copy that you wrote and something that the person would have written because all that you did was you captured their story and you captured their voice. And you do that through talking to them, through interviewing them, through asking them questions, through getting them to tell their story, share their story. Um, and, and the better you do that, instead of like trying to copy copywriting formulas or trying to write copy like a copywriter, which is about the worst thing that you can do, um, it, by just capturing their stories and then structuring it in a persuasive uh, message structure, then you will be very effective at taking their voice, capturing it in the copy and turning it into a sales message. Fairly straightforward process, um, but there are like there's different story templates that you can use. There's different stories that as you're interviewing, you want to listen for. There are um, ways to structure the the story selling in a way where you're you're capturing them as a character, you're capturing the story, and then you're using it for selling. And actually, I I have a story selling masterclass which 
goes into that. That's part of the BTMS Insiders library, the training library. Um, and so I'll link to the story selling masterclass with this if you do want to go deeper. Uh, but in general, like just try to get stories out in your client's own words and try to capture them and put them into your copy. And that's the single most effective way to write copy in your client's voice is, is, is to do that. Um, so if you like this video, make sure that you like it, comment, share your takeaways. Also, uh, you can share the video with people who might find it valuable. You can tag them in the comments or whatever and subscribe. You can subscribe here uh, to get more content like this from me. Also go to BreakthroughMarketingSecrets.com. You can get my Monday through Friday emails, which include articles and videos about copywriting, marketing, uh, direct response, business building, and more. I'm on a mission to help 50,000 value-focused, value-oriented entrepreneurs, marketer entrepreneurs live happier, healthier, more effective and prosperous lives through direct response marketing, through effective marketing techniques. And, um, and so I would love to have you join me in that movement by subscribing here and subscribing at Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. My name is Roy Fur. This has been a video issue of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets, and I look forward to seeing you again in your next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.